Hello, this is the Itinerant Gamer here with another Magic the Gathering Arena video. So I thought today we would play around with this white black tokens deck. So suffice it to say the point here is to cast as many creatures as possible and remove our opponent's threats. I'll post the deck list in the video description if you want to have a look at it or import it in. It'll be right in the description. You should be able to copy it straight to your clipboard and import it into your desk. Into your de uh, in, uh, import the deck into Arena, no problem. I think most of this is pretty self-explanatory. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to actually go through the deck and explain the inclusion of each thing, but for the most part we're removing things and putting as many creatures on the board as possible and then swinging in with them. We have a few minor little tricks here to suddenly surprise our opponent by bringing out little flyers to block stuff and so on to help protect our health. And we got a sort of alt win con here again to pump up all our guys and then swing in for hopefully lethal. This is still very much a work in progress. I might end up posting a video a little bit later on where we go ahead and modify this deck after play testing it a bit more. But I've won a few games with it in the past. So we're slow to getting there. I'm not sure about Doom Foretold in the deck. It hasn't really turned out to be all that useful. I put it in because it does produce tokens, but I think there might be better inclusions. Actually, you know what? We're here now. Let's sideboard this for now. Let's see if we can't find What's 62 cards? Hang on. Discard the changes. What's going on here? We have 64 cards. Well, let's just ditch Doom Foretold altogether. Let's have a look here and see what else we could ditch. That we don't necessarily need two of. We want our removal. Piper of the Swarm is a good blocker, but I don't, I've never really seen myself use this ability all that much. So that's a possibility for cutting. Feed the Swarm, still kind of useful. Same, I don't really want to cut the removal. Birth of Miletus is kind of useful. Honestly, I don't know. Do we just run with 62 cards? It's better than 64. Brings us a bit better odds. You know what? Let's give it a run with 62 cards. Again, the odds aren't great, but... The other, the other goal of this is I, I built this without burning any wild cards because it's sort of a janky experiment, really. I don't really want to burn any wild cards at the moment, although maybe I have a lot, but a lot of the ones that I want are in the rare slot. I want extra copy of, copies of, like, Elspeth, although I think probably we can probably drop Elspeth as well. So let's drop Elspeth. Brings us 61 cards. What out of these could we ditch? We've got two of those. Valorous Steed is it produces tokens. That's pretty good. What about you? That's pretty good, actually. What about you? We're also pretty good for the top end. Hmm. This is a good one, too, because it pumps up our team. You know, 61 cards versus 60. I think that's okay. We don't have any one-offs here, do we, that we could ditch? Battle of Steed, maybe? Yeah, 
Let's put you in the sideboard. Bring this back down to 60. Let's give this a go. And see what luck we have with it. New no game pretty quickly. Yeah, boy, Krell. All right. We got a, a nice amount of lands here. Omen of the Sun. Uh, we got removal, but... Yeah, it's not great. I think, much as though we got removal, it kind of pains me a little bit, but I think we have to mulligan. That's a little better. What do we ditch? So, we keep our removal. Probably remove baked uh, pie. That's our highest cost creature, so let's keep. And we'll ditch bake into a pie, even though that makes me feel a little sad. And drop our swamp as our first turn. Okay. Wait to see what our opponent drops here that we need to kill. Unfortunately, we don't have our kill the thing, but we can eliminate the opponent's wall when they put it up. Let's see what they do, though, with that three mana. What are you going to do, opponent? Perfect. Now we'll kill that. Especially since they don't have any blue mana up. It's a perfect time to do that. Make all the this fizzle. Wonderful. Alright, what do we want to do here? Do we want to have the chance to scry next turn? Or do we want to create two human white creature creature tokens. I think maybe we do that now since it doesn't have any white mana, any blue mana up. They might have counter spells, they might not. I don't really recognize their death. Alright, they gain two life. No biggie. Ah, luminous brood moth. Everybody loves the luminous brood moth. Which has got to die. Uh, except we can't kill it with that. Bummer. Power to less. Oh no. So sad. That's four CMC, so... That one is not going to work now, is it? Womp womp. So much for that. So the problem with the Broodmoth is they start dropping other things, they start flying. That is a significant problem for us. I think we need a chance to spy this time. Oh, let's see. Do we just attack in and lose one of our little fellows? I think we do. At least a little bit of damage and pressure in. The rest of the things are going to be like two twos or one ones and that sort of thing that then they want to make flyers by having me kill them. Or just pump that thing up and beat us to death with it. That'll work too. Yeah. Okay, we'll drop that. Then, unfortunately, we're not drawing the thing we need the most. So I think we spend some of our mana here to scry too. Probably should have done it on our opponent's turn if I was honest. Hmm. I think we want removal. So both to the bottom. Okay. Unfortunately... We cannot kill this thing, so we're going to have to take another beat from it. We may as well swing him with everybody. Yeah. 
End the turn. We need that unconditional removal. We need a murder. I'm wondering if we shouldn't have put more murders in and cut some of these others. Pass. I'll be frankly shocked if they don't attack us with that thing. Pass again. Come on, murder, murder, come on. Right, murder in the comments. Let's go. Yep. Nope. Sadly, nothing we can do, and that is not the solution we are looking for. We do need to gain some life, so much as though it saddens us. We're going to cast that. And maybe we'll be able to shuffle up something. Okay, so grab ourselves some planes. We'll play out, but why the heck not? Drop you down. Give themselves a nice little creature here. And we'll attack him with everybody. Alright, so what are you going to do, opponent? Just beat us with that again? And yeah, they gained a life from the Tranquil Cove. It's good for them. They decide not to attack anymore. It's a shame that for some reason the game has decided that we are not going to win. So, let's see here. We attack with everybody except the Day Squad Marshal. funny how the game is not smart enough to know that I don't really have any eligible targets for the assumption is that we might want to target one of our own things but of course we don't in this particular instance now if we were in a Rakto sacrifice deck or a Sakdos deck that might be different oh dear Another thing that we can't do anything about. Convert a mana cost three or less. That is seven. So that would be a heck no. And... Yeah, the removal in this, not great against this deck. For unless we get murder, we're dead next turn. That is not murder. Drop it anyway. And then we'll end our turn there, I suppose. Well, we're not dead next turn. I shouldn't say that. We are in some serious trouble, though. We're not getting our stuff removal. Other stuff. So, you know what? No, cancel that. It's powerless. Ah, and that's hexproof. Dang, nabbit. Okay. I shall block like so. We don't have any life linkers, do we? Nope. And that's not trampoly, so we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, this conditional removal is not working well against this deck. Not against other decks, it works very well, actually. But not this one, sadly. That monster there is. So let's see here. I guess we'll drop Harmonious and Archon. And then... It's a shame that that silly thing there. So. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
So because of Harmonious Archon here, non-Archon creatures have base power and toughness 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, we create 2-1-1 one, one white creature tokens. So funny enough, for some reason, it this guy has, has the plus one, plus one for each artifact or enchantment. So that is honestly pretty hilarious. We'll say no attacks. And unfortunately, CMC, we can't, we could target you, except, and we don't have planeswalkers, so we're going to end the turn there. Opponent's going to bounce Harmonious Archon. Ah, tap. I see. All right, well, I don't think we need to wait for the opponent to play out any more spells or anything. We will just resign. So that was pretty interesting. We managed to hold off the opponent for a fair bit. I had an option for that enchantment that was going to tap all our stuff. We might have had a chance of staying in the game for another couple more games. Uh, stay in the game for another couple more turns. That's it. Turns. All right. All right, guys. So that's it for the first video. This has been the Itinerant Gamer. I want to thank you so much for watching, no matter where you are in the world. Please stay healthy and safe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. This has been Ian, the Itinerant Gamer. And thank you for watching, liking, and subscribing.